What's up old car choppers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and today we're going to talk about some of my thoughts on what were some of the best products from Magic the Gathering that they released in 2020. Now that 2020 has come and gone, uh, we have a chance to look back and reflect on what some of the products that were released and there were quite a few that were released between all the collector's products and all the new set boosters that were released and all the different sets with all the flashy new new uh, brands and the secret layers. Um, it's hard to sort of keep track of all the inventory and it was easy to let things just slip by and some things let go uh, under the radar. And so one of those things that I do believe was released in the beginning of the year that sort of was let uh, slip under the radar at first and then had its sort of uh, its rise and fall throughout the year as well is uh, one of the products you may be somewhat surprised to hear about. I don't feel like a lot of people have talked about this product. It is something uh, that I really enjoyed as far as a product that you could open up and play. Um, it was marketed, I believe, as an entry level or sort of a beginner's um, or starter product, which for experienced Magic players sometimes doesn't go over so well. And so that's sort of one of the reasons I think I overlooked it when I first was um, it was brought to my attention. But now looking back and after having uh, plenty of time to have chances to purchase and play with this particular product, I believe it is actually some of the best uh, product that was released in 2020. So without further ado, I do want to talk about what I believe is still currently undervalued at about $130 or $140 per box. Um, now that's taking shipping and taxes out of it. Um, and that is the Magic the Gathering Jumpstart Edition, um, sort of special edition, specialty set that they released in the beginning of 2020. Now this is a set, um, this particular box is a booster box that was released in blisters, boosters, and single packs. And it was released at the beginning of the year, and it was sort of marketed um, so that you could grab a couple of packs, and if you took two booster packs of these um, these different jumpstart packs and you just shuffled them together you would uh, come up with a playable 40 card deck that you and a friend could use and sit down and play against each other that was relatively balanced and i'll tell you from firsthand experience a whole lot of fun to actually get down and use and so um upon first um a first thought one would um, sort of look at where the value of this product is and there are exclusive cards in this set it is not exclusively a reprint set. And so sometimes Magic the Gathering players get hung up on reprint sets because they want some new value. And so there's got to be a reason or a chase in these sets in order to want to pull cards. And so in this set, they, they did uh, release some set exclusive cards that I believe are uh, really, really great cards and, and have shown on the secondary market to hold a lot of value. Um, so those cards aside, I think that just the way that I like to play this set is something that I wanted to make a video on because I think the way that uh, myself, that my, m m I have a good friend that I play magic with uh, who's within my quarantine, uh, small little social circle bubble. And uh, he and I play um, this way and I wanted to share um, this with you guys. So maybe you guys could try to play this with some of your loved ones or someone who's in your quarantine bubble or just uh, sometime in the future. If you open up a jumpstart box, you can sort of store your cards this way and have a chance to maybe um, play in a new and different way. So let's switch over to a new uh, angle here. Uh, let's see how uh, we like to play this uh, Jumpstart Magic the Gathering set that I still think is one of the best sets of the year from 2020. And I still think it's available. And so um, let's go ahead and switch angles and talk a little bit more about it. Yeah, just real quick before we go to the rest of the video talking about Jumpstart, I wanted to touch base about one more really positive thing that I found in 2020 and I think the rest of the world found in 2020 um, is something that a lot of you are probably already aware of, but if you're not, this is something you should definitely look into. I found that throughout the year, um, even though everything was shut down and everyone was um, at home, there was more and more trading and more interaction within the hobby than I had ever seen before. And how a lot of this was happening was off of 
uh, social media. And so a lot of people flocked to Facebook buying and selling groups as well as to Instagram. And they uh, moved sort of away or at least pivoted a little bit from the traditional sales marketplaces that didn't interact, uh, didn't really um, give you as much social interaction or as much uh, interaction with the direct buyer like eBay, Mercari, or any of those other traditional sales platforms. It also charged a hefty 10 to 12 percent or more fee so that there was a lot of uh, monetary gate monetary gatekeeping that was involved as well with that. With these Facebook or the rise of these Facebook marketplace groups, we've seen um, the freedom of the marketplace sort of um, flourish and this selling and this um, trading that's really always gone in on traditionally in card shops and conventions where people gathered, which people sort of have stopped gathering. Um, this has been allowed to flourish online. And so I'm going to link below to a couple of my favorites. And um, I just think that you should definitely check some of these out. If you're into collecting cards and you'd like to be able to see firsthand the quality of the card that you're purchasing rather than just put an order in from a website or a random seller on eBay, go on one of these uh, Facebook marketplace groups, start looking around. A lot of the time you can message the buyers directly. And a lot of the time you'll get better quality cards for a cheaper price directly from a seller cutting out the um, the big corporation that's making that extra money on those singles and so I encourage you to um, definitely go down and check out some of these links on Facebook or Instagram and definitely um, look into some of these because for the most part they're very highly trusted and very highly re reputable um, and as long as you sort of do a little bit of your diligence with your individual sellers you don't buy from someone who has a really sketchy looking account and has uh, zero feedback or no one saying that they can back them then you'll be all right by buying and selling on these groups. And so go ahead and check that out. But let's go ahead and get back to the video. And uh, let's talk about more about Jumpstart. All right, here we are. So check it out. Um, this Jumpstart set was uh, different than other Magic the Gathering sets in a couple of ways. Not only were these booster boxes um, only 24 booster packs instead of 36, which is a, a departure from the norm. They also had 20 cards in them, which were not randomly selected per se. Now, you didn't know what booster pack you were getting. There were 160-something different variants of booster packs you could get. But each booster pack had its own theme. That sounds, um, if you're unfamiliar with the product, this is going to be somewhat confusing. So the best way I could really describe it is really just showing you firsthand. And so what we have here is a, a booster box of Jumpstart. And then also um, about a booster box, uh, about a third or a booster box and a little change of a jumpstart as well. Except just this jumpstart has already been opened up and it's already been uh, enjoyed by myself. And so this is going to be something that you could continue to enjoy if you um, sort of have the right tools. And so these booster packs traditionally come with 20 packs. So when you open up a, a booster pack, you'll get 20 cards. This particular one is an angel theme. And so you'll get 20 cards that have an angel theme, usually of a single color, sometimes of a, a multicolor if it has a theme. And usually there's one or two rares, sometimes a mythic, and some unique cards to the set. And so when you take two of these decks... and you shuffle them together. This is Wizards, so I'll just take one randomly. Wizards, if you were to take these two decks and shuffle them together, you would have 40 cards and you'd have a playable right there um, set of cards. You can just play with a new experience, um, just kind of get up and go and play. And so I feel like that's just a really unique concept and it really gives me a lot of draft vibes or limited vibes. And it makes it so there's not really a high entry point in order to get, sit down and actually play a game of Magic for both beginners, uh, that beginners can enjoy, and also experts alike can enjoy. And so like I said, there are 160-something different variants of these packs. And so all of these different packs have um, different themes to them. And so when you start opening these booster packs, if you don't just uh, separate the cards and put them into your binder and start putting them into your decks and you'd like to actually get some more use out of them after you've played them, what you could do is you could take something like these team bags, which is what these bags that these are in. You can get these off of Amazon, your local game stores, online, anywhere really. And you take something like that 
and you, um, you take your pack, and after you've used it, what you'll want to do is separate your then two decks that you used. You want to separate them, which it isn't difficult to figure out which decks go with which, especially if you just give it a quick glance before you build it into the deck. You separate it, and then put it back into the bag, and put it into something like a little uh, late trainer box or a card box holder. And, um, and what you can do is once you've accumulated enough of these packs, or once you've accumulated enough of them, you can then take them back out. And you can play with them over and over again and make new decks and sort of have new value and get um, new use out of these boxes. So what I've done is I went and um, full disclosure, this is only about half of the boxes I have. I took three booster boxes and my, um, my good friend and I, we ripped through all of them intermittently over the course of the entire uh, pandemic. And just um, every time I would see them every maybe few weeks or so uh, when we'd have to run into each other, we'd play a little game of magic. We'd take two new fresh booster packs, crack them open, mix them together, play a couple games with them, and then we'd put them back in their sleeves and then put them into this box. And then we'd be able to go back to them later on and sort of the idea was and play again in the future. And so I, I do recommend getting yourself a hand, um, getting your hands on one of these for yourself. Um, I do think it's still readily available out there on the market. And I do think that um, it's a, a good buy. And, you know, aside, uh, cards aside, the cards themselves have great value on the secondary market. Um, but the cards aside, I think that it's just a really fun product. And so it's just some uh, a refreshingly new product line that I do hope to see them uh, continue to, to make. And um, I do hope that we can um, see Jumpstart 2 sometime in the near future, because when we do see that, um, I'm definitely going to buy some, just because I feel like this first one was such a, su uh, such a success that I have to see what the second one was like, and uh, I'll probably do the same thing with the second as well, because I like this format so much. And so um, hopefully you found this video to be entertaining or at least somewhat informative, and it helped you um, sort of learn about a new product that maybe either you were aware of or and you didn't know a lot about or just something that um, was brought back to your attention, because I definitely think that this is one of my favorite products of the year, and I don't know if there's a lot of... Um, noise around it. It's considering how many other products are out there that are really hogging up all the spotlight. Um, so thanks for coming by guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I do kind of want to make another video here soon about magic. So I hope you enjoyed the Magic the Gathering content. Um, there's been a lot happening in the Pokemon world. So I've been focusing a little on that, but there's a lot happening in the magic world as well. And I, I have a good video in store. So uh, like and subscribe, guys. Hopefully you can come back and watch another one soon. And I uh, hope to hear see you guys again soon. Um, stay safe out there. Bye.